that's a discussion in itself. It's porn bad. <laughs> but um, I was talking to my boy about that. Uh, because like we we talk about like how when you don't do it and then you do it and it's just like an explosion and it builds yeah, up. Yeah. Fucking. All right, let's start it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Bugs back with the Full Circle Podcast. Got my guy. So, how you doing, Jordan? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, brother. Good to be here. We just cooked up, did some fire. Um, shout out to Coco Vibe for always pulling up and doing everything. We Big need. shouts. Fucking um, yeah, dude. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I can't complain. I'm happier than I've been in a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what homie said right before that. Yeah. Fucking um, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm better than I was. About I, was. To, I was about to have the Terrence Howard tier. <laughs> dude, just little, the one tier. A little violin. <laughs> I'm better than I was. But, um, yeah, I'm doing good, too, dude. Just uh, there was a moment a couple months ago where um, there was too much time in the day, and now there's not enough time. Now that I'm actually – because I already do a lot of, like, creative things, but yeah. now that I, like, have a lot of it planned – I'm realizing, oh shit, I don't have enough time. Yeah. I need, I now need, you need more yeah. time in the day. And now sleep. I love sleep, but now it's like it comes too soon. And sleep, and sleep feel like it's wasteful sometimes. Yeah. And days like got... today. Days are today's today's are the days that yeah. I today's <laughs> <laughs> today's are the ones. We got an event tonight. We're about to go perform. Blow yes, shit sir. Down for a little bit. Yes, sir. Fucking up. But how you feeling, brother? Bro, I, I'm like I said, bro. Just dropped the EP, self produced and shit. Fuck yeah. Um, two eight one five five six. That joins on all platforms. Fuck right? yeah, good shit. <laughs> and you did the you did the one joint with Cal. Oh yeah, that's not even uh that's not even out or oh that's yet, just though. a single. Well, it's not. We got two actually in the works. Word. But he, bro, Cal's dope as fuck too. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> shout out to Cal. Yeah, shout out to Jackson. Caliber. <laughs> fucking um dude so i don't even know how we met was Bro, it i like think i mutual? think i think the first lake fest oh really there i think that's where we met no if that's I'm, where if, we met but we like knew each other online or something yeah we definitely like followed each other and shit through like mutual mm-hmm. people but that was the first but time i just we, invited you out to lake fest yeah or some shit or somebody that was there like and I was in a rush. It was too, definitely so I, me. I definitely invited you. Probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think on Instagram or some shit. Yeah. That was a vibe. Yeah, because it was more like Lake Fest. Shout out to Lake Fest. That's more of like a little private join that they have. And it's more like, that's what I'm saying. Hand selected people that I, I've been keeping around le- recently and people that can create. That's what it's all about. That only have the tolerance to Creation. create. Yeah. Just keep going. No matter what. Okay. No matter Word. What so, yeah. So that was recent, <laughs> dude. That wasn't. That's gnarly. Yeah. Yeah, that's so I feel like I've known you a lot longer, so that's what it is. The online Well, we've shit. seen each other and shit before that, but that was the mm-hmm. first time we really got to like chop talk. It up. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I don't I don't even remember. I must that <laughs> must have been the day I ate a bunch of shrooms. I mean, I was pretty sauce myself. Was I wearing <laughs> Do you know if I was wearing the flower shit? Bro, I could not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say if you know that, I'd be I, I could not <laughs> tell you. I can even tell you what I wore. <laughs> Back clothes for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> fucking um words. So that's that's fucking recent, dude. So um, on this project that you just dropped, what was like, was there anything behind it? Did you just feel like dropping something? Was there? So what actually happened was weird as fuck. Like I, <laughs> I um, went to Main Street Music, um, which is like this little uh, record shop near my crib. And um, I copped this uh, vinyl, this like, uh, and it was like a beat instrumental vinyl. Mm-hmm. And I just copped it because like the cover was like him, like the producer doing some like anime shit. And like, it was like an NPC and like all beat shit like mm-hmm. around him. And I was like, I don't. I don't know what this is, but I'm grabbing it. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I took it to the crib, put it on a record player, and it's just like all... His name's Q3, by the way. Shout out Q3. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just... like It's just grimy, like, hip-hop, like, sample shit. And um, so I kind of listened to that for a little bit. I would smoke and go downstairs, listen to that shit. And that kind of got me in that vibe, and I would just freestyle to it a little bit. And then I got to one point where I actually started... Um, I was trying to like recreate beats and shit, mm-hmm. um, and just to find like how to get to the sound. Just to find, well, not yeah, just to find like how to express what I wanted to express fully. Mm-hmm. And I was getting so frustrated. It's like bands doing cover bands and yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. And I, I was, I was getting so frustrated to the point where like I felt like I couldn't get out what I was trying to get out. And it almost got to a point where I was like damn near having a panic attack, like while I was trying <laughs> to make a beat, like. Mm-hmm. And I, all I did, all I did was take a deep ass breath, and like I just felt myself like recenter and i was that was like one of the first times in my in my 27 years of being alive that i mm-hmm. like felt that i felt like 
and I felt fully, fully in control and shit. And I was like, damn. So then I started taking my breathing and meditation and shit more seriously, mm-hmm. doing what I call ghetto yoga, mm-hmm. um, which is like my rendition of yoga. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah. And then, so that shit, so long story short, mm-hmm. um, that evolved into me running off of that sound from that instrumental beat instrumental beats and then I was just wanted to make some like grimy like simple reverse hip hop yeah. type beats yeah, and I just started I just day. started making these beats and then I made like three beats in a day and I'm like yo these are all slappers mm-hmm. like and they were the only beats I made that day which is you know that's rare as a producer like yeah. I'll be making like 15 beats a day yeah. and like fucking eight of them mm-hmm. are trash a lot <laughs> of us do that that's so funny as far as producing goes like we just be like chopping out yeah. ideas but i've been like i made it a lot more simple too so it's yeah. even sped my process up even more yeah because there's not a lot that goes to it with the and simplicity as as, is it's more about just getting the idea yeah. and yeah put so together so all that to say I, I made those beats or whatever and then i was so inspired because i felt like i found how to center myself that that night i couldn't even sleep i was sitting on my on my phone on the notes yeah. like this mm-hmm. and um I just like I wrote like two or three songs that night. That's how you know, and, and there's then, not enough time. <laughs> That's how you know exactly. And then I just yeah, and then I was like I got a Lady Jones down, and then I was like I'm releasing the EP in a couple months. Fuck yeah, yeah. And it just happened like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. I love when things just <laughs> come to fruition like that from something simple that you don't know is gonna motivate you. For sure, it's something random too. Like I said, I just I just grabbed that record off of like. And then it turned. Oh, so also back to that shit. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, I'm all over the place, but no, you're fine. back to that shit. Um, I grabbed the record, so I looked at it. I'm like, oh, Q3. Okay, cool. Let me look this dude up on Instagram. Give him a follow. Mm-hmm. I'm already following this nigga. He followed me back. <laughs> we fucking skate with the same people at fucking Municipal Park. And that's shit. fucking not great. Municipal Park, but Muni yeah. out Philly and shit. That's fucking great. But yeah, that's so that shit end up being weird as fuck. And like <laughs> now we're DMing and shit. Like that's you know some synchronicity. <laughs> yeah, shit. like some crazy universe shit. That's what art does, dude. Yes, sir. Okay. I forgot something. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Tell him something. Tell him a story. Yo, <laughs> I tell you, I tell you a story. Um, <clears throat> this one time, I uh, <laughs> actually, that's not, <laughs> that's not even the right type of story for this. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I tell one story. All right, listen. This one time, I was at this uh, John down like AC or something with my boy DJing, and um, he, uh, I was like helping him DJ, you know, whatever, running the table, and I uh, go outside. I'm on the phone with my girl, and I just hear him yelling downstairs like, "Yo, yo, give me my phone back, give me my phone back." So I go running downstairs. I'm like, "Yo, my babe, I'll call you right back or whatever." Go run downstairs. This dude's like already arguing with someone. So I'm like, all right, whatever. And it's like a basement, like AC party. It's Halloween. We got masks on and shit. Um, so then um, so then we start trying to get the phone from the kid, whatever. So then some other kid comes up and pushes uh, my boy. So then I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go. And then um, I turn, I'm ready to like square up with somebody. I look to my left. And next thing I know, I get speared into a fucking glass bro speared into a glass table bro so I'm I'm my back goes through a glass table I got glass and DJ equipment in my ass and shit pause um, <laughs> <laughs> resume but they uh so I did all that shit um got up fucking pushed the one dude off some other dude tried to come up and sneak me I actually hit that dude as hard as I could um and I'm not the fighting type either like but I hit that dude as hard as I could. I'll come back to that dude. Remember him. <laughs> um, and then so I got up, went to, went to square up with the big ass dude that speared me. He was like 6'3", like tatted on his head and shit. I was like, oh, God. I was, I'm about to get beat the fuck up. <laughs> so, then, <laughs> so then I'm like, all right. I hit him one time in like in like the nose or some shit. And his no, whole nose piercing just started leaking. And he ran out the party. Uh, I was like, he was probably fuck? sick. He was like, no. So now back to that dude that I told you to remember, the dude that I hit My that was trying to sneak me. He literally shit himself. Ugh. Literally shit himself in the fight party. or flight, dude. But um, but yeah, all that to say, uh, yeah, if like... you're at a party or anything, just fucking chill the fuck out and have a good time. That's because I am not into all that fighting shit, and I do not like to. But you know, when shit gets real, it gets real. But like, I'm like, I just mm-hmm. like the vibe, bro. <laughs> like, let's just have Every a good time. time. <laughs> the only times that I've ever like, they were like big, typical big like college house parties and shit. But every time a fight happened, well, every it was actually two times like huge brawls. 
Like, instead of being one of the dudes that, like, jumps in the fucking thing and just makes the whole thing mayhem right. and, like, all that. Because, like, I don't know any of these people. Right. Like, especially at the big college parties. Like, I'll always see just fucking girls who have no idea what to fucking do. And they yeah. just get like this. So I just, like, grab a couple and just, like, yeah. shield yeah, them just and try, shit. Yeah, just and just like, shield them against the wall yeah. from whatever's happening. Because other than part. that, I'm just, yeah, yeah. Because other than that, it's just, like gonna be pandemonium pushing everywhere and shit yeah that shit and that shit never ends up good that just reminded me of that story damn but yeah i wish i had a better story for y'all but that was that was the first one that came to mind story (laughs) that just reminded me of that story which is reminded me of that girl which reminded me that she passed away and it was damn rest in peace um and it it, i was in a fucking daft punk mask (laughs) <laughs> when I got speared, <laughs> it was like a Halloween basement yeah, party. Yeah, you were wearing a big old <laughs> yeah, mask. big old oh chrome mask. Like that's funny. I was a mascot for Collingswood High School. I was the new kid, and I was the mascot. Did you have to wear like the like the full body, like the green man suit? No, it was a uh, it was a panther. So I had like an actual mascot. Oh, you had like a real mascot. Yeah. So the thing is, it was Collingswood, and they hadn't had a mascot for like fifty years at the time, and yeah. I was the new kid, and um. And I I danced before I rapped, and yeah like pop locking and shit like that. I didn't know that shit. Fucking um. I mean I knew you had some moves. Yeah, but that's that's like <laughs> that was my start, like spinning on my head and shit. But then I hit my head on the diving board and never did it again. <laughs> but um, like stop flipping in general. I like freaked it freaked me out. But when I was in the office when I was new, like the fr- the pep rally because I moved there halfway through the year, so the pep rally was about to be like a week or two away. And in the office there was a fucking. I'm a germaphobe. I was not about to wear a fucking costume if it was, like, old. You know what I mean? I saw it in the packaging. And I was like, you guys have a mascot? She was like, we're actually looking for someone to do it. We don't. We just don't know how to. I was like, right. I'll do it. Like, I know I'll be able to talk <laughs> shit. And, like, I'll be able to, like, animatingly. Like, this is, like, my first or second day. But, like, the, the second day, the second or third day, I can't remember, I had a dance battle at lunchtime. Yeah. And so everybody knew that I was like the new kid that could dance. Yeah. A week later, the fucking thing happens. And I, and it was a small school, so every fucking bleacher was a different class. Yeah. And fucking, I went in there and the songs is playing. I just fucking, I knew the kids that would pop lock and shit. Yeah. Like I walked in swinging the tail. Yeah. Like a pimp and shit. They <laughs> fucking pointed at the people, like called them out to battle me, yeah. and they wouldn't come out because the whole school was there. <laughs> so then I just started dancing, like in front of them, yeah. like doing moves and shit. <laughs> and dude, the school freaked the fuck out. That's funny. Though. And no one knew who it was. Like, no one knew it was me. Yeah. And then the hallway. It was just a lot of like energy. The whole hallway, everybody was like hyped. Like we got a mascot. It's, yeah. The mascot's cool. Who is it? Yeah. And my friend that I sat at lunch table, one of the kids that befriended me, um, he like tapped me in the back of the head. So like I squared up, joking. Yeah. Like, this is the school that you should not do that in. Yeah. And that shit got I real. started slap boxing like eight people <sighs> as the new kid. Yeah. And it was fun until the head got spun around. Right. So I took the, when I took the helmet, I obviously took it off, and yeah. they all saw it was me. And it just turned into like a big hug. Yeah. <laughs> Again, so like it was like a tense, tense. And it was fun, yeah. like dude. So that's like that's funny situations as far as uh. Pandemonium and dancing and shit for sure. <laughs> How did we even start talking about that? Cause the DJ shit when I got speared, I think, and then I I started talking about something, and you said mascot. Mascot, fucking oh yeah, wearing something big. The fight that's with wearing exactly, something big on the yeah, head. That's so like when the man. when the head turned around, I was like, nah, this is not something I can even play around with right now. Took that shit off right away. And they were like, what? <laughs> they call me Milky Way. Milky Way? Typical white portion name. Like, it was either that or chalk or something. Like, they were going to give me something. I, ne- I never had, like, a nickname. People always just call me Jay. I came up with Bugs myself. Well, I mean, I got, like, BBM. What's BBM? So, that that's actually BAM. Um, mm-hmm. I just, like, spelling the A's with Oh, these. word. Um, but, because I do that in my name, too. Jordan, it's J-O-R-D-V-N. Mm-hmm. Um, but Bam is actually. For- I have video. Like, I didn't send you the clip, but I was wasted one time at Spit, and I kept calling you Jort. I was like Jort. Do you remember that night? <laughs> I don't know why I kept calling you. What up, Jort? I just kept calling you Jort. <laughs> and there's clips of it too. It's fucking hilarious. That's funny shit. No, but Bam um is actually so my brother, <coughs> my oldest brother uh passed away, 
and that was like his nickname was Bam. Where? And I actually I didn't meet him until I was like sixteen. Where? So um, and so that shit was crazy for me. Like, whoa, cause, it's gnarly. Yeah, because I met I had more brothers and sisters and shit, and I didn't meet them all until I was like sixteen, and my bi- my biological dad passed away and shit. Oh, wow. um, because I live not to get all deep and shit, but no, that's what dude. That's, <laughs> we talk about everything here. But uh, cause I live I live um I like. So I lived with my mom and shit, and then I lived with um, like my biological mom, and then she went to the pen, and then, then sort of my grandparents like uh, adopted me and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and my dad, so my biological dad, like um, basically my my biological mom kept me from him, like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But but she was doing some shady shit anyway. Yeah, so like, like what I was just about to that, ask you was it was that, it like a t- a good version of keeping you it away was like, from well, him? Because was like he sold drugs, but like yeah. she was a drug trafficker. Like that's True. why she went to you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. whatever. But anyway, um, that's how they met. A little story. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so then so my dad's name was Bam, and then like his nickname was Bam, and then my oldest brother's nickname was Bam. And like I said, once I met them and shit, like so you they, just flipped the BVM. Yeah, and and I all my siblings like as soon as we all I was just on the phone with my brother Julian on the way here, and um. Like, we're all like, as soon as we met each other, it was mm-hmm. synergy. Like, it mm-hmm. was no, it was no like, fell out of place, awkward moments. Yeah. Like, it was like, nah, like we, like we're family. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's rare. Like, you know, you could meet them and they could be anybody. Yeah, it's still energy. I you mean, a I'm lot saying? of family members you realize when you go to like Thanksgivings and shit like that. Yeah. I mean, as, as from my experience, a lot of family members you don't even really but fuck like, with. Yeah. So then, and so then, like to meet them that you never met that old and you guys like understand yeah. that, but let alone the energy just is natural. That's cool. Yeah, and then so my my oldest brother that passed away. That was uh that was. The Bam shit. That's why I got the whole Bam shit. And like mm-hmm. my merch and shit says like Mike Life still alive and shit. Like you Word. know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's so that's, that's where that shit came from. And that's like that's why I rock. See, that that's shit a proudly. deep ass meaning. I love that. Yeah. Oh my sure. god, Bugs is so stupid the way that came up. <laughs> I lived in Arizona. <laughs> I moved to Arizona to become a rapper. Like I had no idea. At 18 years old, I had no idea what I was doing. I was gonna tell the story. Really, I've told it a few times on this, but I'll explain it really quick. I didn't know what I was doing. I graduated at 17, partied that winter, and then by next summer, I was turning 18, and I didn't know what I was going to do. Well, I had turned 18. I didn't know what I was going to do. So, like, I was like, okay, I like play- I like music, you know? Like, I, I dance, but I don't dance anymore. So, like, and I want to rap, and I know, I, and I've always written poetry, like, since fourth grade. Like, I would write girls' love poems yeah. and shit. Like, in fourth grade, I was using words like strife and shit in, yeah, like, in poems and yeah. giving them to girls and shit that, like, next to me in class. So I've always been a writer to the poetic standpoint, and, and rap was my shit. So, um, so I wrote a verse to Drake, It's Over, yeah, but it's far from over. Yeah. I wrote a verse to that, and this was back in the day before I even knew how to get instrumentals. I like had to find the song on YouTube, play the song, and write over his rapping. Yeah, memorized it, wrapped it at a at a party that weekend, and everybody freaked out. But I didn't have any more raps. Yeah, that's you ever know you ever hear the song "Fear" by Drake? Well, I probably did. Yeah, that's one. Of, it's like an old ass Drake song. That's mm-hmm. one of the um first first Johns you wrote. First Johns I ever wrote it to. Yeah. As like I, mean, I was, I was actively like I'm gonna. If I was gonna be a rapper, this is what I would say. This is how I would say yeah, it. It was a test, exactly. And I tested it at a party, and it worked. So like that was the reaction. I was like, all right, I'm gonna move to Arizona and like and do and this. and yeah. and write for and party for a year at the age of 18, because I know I was about to move right near the University of uh, Arizona, U of A. I wasn't going to the school, but I was gonna be living that life yeah, right there. Yeah. So I went there, literally no other plan but to just work a little bit, party a lot, and write everything. Write about it all and rhyme everything and just get the shitty, I I describe it like getting the shitty water out, just keeping the faucet on. Because the typical (laughs) words that you rhyme all the time, you don't do anymore. So that's what I mean. I was just getting all those... All the thoughts that I've wanted to say since I was twelve, all the ego shit, system. get get it out yeah. and find. You have, you have to, yeah. It, and if not, you get yeah. like caught up and, in that. Yeah, and at this time, like when I'm writing raps, I'm not. I'm leaving spaces for a rap name that I don't have yet. Yeah. So like, if I, you know how, if I would say like, "Buggy does this" or something. Yeah. Or like, it's fucking bugs, bitch. That's what what I right. went with. But I would leave those gaps in all the raps that I was writing, and also I wanted to have a. I knew I was going to make every genre, so I didn't want it to be like a specific thing that was like, 
oh, that's a rapper. You know, like Bugs with a Z. Like everybody <laughs> thinks Bugs has a Z, for right. example. But <laughs> so I went out there and that's what I did. But like, so like a two months into living there, I was part, I was sitting at a playground with like a couple homies and some girls. And we, dude, the bugs out there are, now it makes sense. The, I hate bugs too. Yeah. So it's like an oxymoron in this. It's like I'm facing my fear. You my hate all bugs? I'm terrified of bugs. I like bugs. I like bugs but like not fucking spiders and shit crawling on me and shit like no no one right. wants nothing crawling on them if it's right. over there it's cool no nah, but you everything know, over there but is you know cool. motherfuckers be having like pet spiders and shit yeah that's i mean no i'm not doing that not doing that almost actually, you ever seen the movie fuck what's that movie with tim, tim allen I don't know. and the, and he saves the and the one kid comes to new york with that big tarantula I don't know. All right, never mind. I forget the fucking movie. It's a classic. If I remember it, I'll timestamp it. Boom. <laughs> fucking, um. But whatever. The bugs in Arizona are fucking <laughs> retarded. Yeah. And uh, my boy, we were sitting under this Lion King tree. And he, like, sidekicked it while I was on the swing set. And these huge fucking, I don't know if they were beetles or what, but, like, you know how their legs be just sticking to shit? Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, five to ten of them just landed mm -hmm. on my shirt. And they stuck. And they, they were stuck on my shirt. So they were flapping to try to get off. And these are Arizona bugs. They're on steroids. They're huge. They're fucking huge. So when they flap their wings, it sounds like a fucking bird. And they were on, and it was pitch black, and I couldn't see what was on them. Birds either. And I started freaking out. And the this is where the statement came. This girl was like, "What are you doing? Don't be a pussy or something." I was like, "There's fucking yeah. bugs, bitch." Yeah. And when I said "bugs, bitch," the yeah. way that this the bugs bitch to it, it just stuck. It like, had power. And yeah. the second I got the bugs off, I sprinted to my house. Yeah. Because I wrote something that day. I wrapped that wrap and put bugs there. Yeah. And then they came back. Like, what the fuck happened? I was like, "That's yo. still a dope story." I was story, like, "Yo, though. this is this is my name." That's a different ass I am story. Bugs, bitch. So that's why my YouTube URL is Mr. Bugs, bitch. Yeah. Like the bugs and bitch is always connected yeah. because of the story like that's that. That's why. But I used to go, it's bugs, bitch. I don't say that much anymore. But I, I kind of I go by like buggy a lot now. Yeah. I call myself in third but it, person But buggy. you know, people got different shit like, you know. But I, I wish I didn't give myself a nickname. But then who do you give the power to to give you the Right, nickname? exactly. Like people still call me Young Jay because that's mm -hmm. like, that was my rap name when I was like. Yeah, it wasn't about to be I, Milky Way. When I was like 16. <laughs> it was about to be Milky Way. <laughs> DJ Buggy, I like DJ Buggy. DJ Buggy on deck, dude, coming soon. DJ Buggy, coming soon. DJ Buggalicious. DJ Buggers, fucking, I can't wait to start <coughs> mixing shit. That's gonna be fun. Cause then events will be completely different. It's different when I'm like throwing the John and I just have the mic and I can do what I want. But if yeah. I'm like running that too, oh, that turns into a whole different creative process. <laughs> People won't even know I'm performing like half of them. I'll perf I'll straight up perform the whole DJ set and people won't even know. I'll keep a foot pedal down <laughs> there and they won't even know that I'm the one doing right. the cook it. I'll do something. Some type of shit. So Oh, one thing I want to ask you before mm -hmm. you ask me something else. Mm -hmm. When did you start like making music? Like, like not, for real? <clears throat> yeah, like not like not like write like writing. Like when did you start like recording like shit? As oh, an recording artist? it. Yeah, that's different. Well, when I moved to Arizona, I had a when little. You were 18? I had a yeah, I had a terrible How old microphone. You know? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. I thought you were my age. I'm gonna bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm 27. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I cut the world off when I was 28. <clears throat> so that like the pandemic from 28 to 31. Yeah. You know what I mean? This there's that weird gap of time. That makes me feel like. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm five years younger, and that's been consistent my whole life. I mean, that's dope, though. But um, yeah, but um, but as far as that goes, it's more like, what were, what was I just saying? Or what were you saying? When oh I yeah, eighteen, fucking um. But it wasn't like that when I recorded it. It was more just so I can hear my voice. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I wasn't trying to mix. I just needed to turn the beat down and turn my voice all the way up, so I could hear what I sounded like on certain sounds. Yeah. Cause um, we don't rap how we talk. You know, we have a vocal inflection. For sure, and you have to you have to mm. learn how you have to, to how discover to. it. Yeah. Same thing with singing. Like, and I would have if you learn how to I would have sang first if I I would have never rapped if yeah. I if I had a good singing voice. Yeah. But um, I discovered how to sing through using auto tune like right. a, and I love auto tune. I look at it like a guitar foot pedal, not yeah. like a um. Oh, there's this jar I gotta show you. It remind me to show you a preset on my laptop after this. Where fuck yeah. So I use it like that's how I have like my live vocal set up. It's a yeah. it's literally foot pedals. Everybody did it every time. There's like two three people who want to take a picture of my setup. Like yo, how do you do this? I want to cop that. 
Like, I make everybody take a picture with me. So like, when this starts getting more popular with you, see, when you see rappers starting to use foot pedals like guitarists and shit. It's going to stem back here, dude. And I have the proof. I have photos of all oh, these yeah. people. That's so right. like, I'll see where it branched out and like where it started. But people be lazy, too. They might not even. For sure. They might not That's, even I've it. been trying to uh, practice a lot more like piano and guitar and shit. Mm, it's I start, fun, I started dude. out playing the drums, but like. I love, yeah, and I drum obviously too, but I love vibing out, and like, like doing some loop, like some like not FKJ shit. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not a prodigy. Live like that looper yet and everything, but like I'll, I'll loop shit on. F, I'll like play some live guitar in the FL, loop that shit, play my little drum set along to it. You know what I'm saying? Loop that. I'll record that with my little condenser mic, and then go and play on my little Casio and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like just trying to get better and better, like. Cause that's what it's all about, bro. Is evolution, yeah. and if you and don't have if you don't have the want for growth, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I took it step by step, and that's why I started with the ciphers, because it was all about like you was for, killing ciphers. For me, it was about like lyrics. Well, I'm talking even before that when I started actually making the music in, oh, Ari- I'm, I'm in Arizona. Saying, I'm just saying the ones I've seen. Because um, <laughs> fuck yeah. Well, no, I murdered every fucking. Ciphers. That's a, that's what I'm saying. If I rapped in every one, I would have <laughs> won every one. I'm kidding, but um, no, I'm not. But right. um. When I was there, it was strictly writing. It was, like I said, it was strictly like, okay, I know who I am, but like, I didn't, like, dude, I was 18. All I didn't know shit about life or what the fuck anything was, right. dude. So I went there wide eyed, literally looking to experiment. Like, just do fucking acid, shrooms, smoke a lot of weed. Cause that's the thing, too. The weed, I was a big, uh, big pothead out here selling weed in high school. But when I went out there, bro, the weed was like, fucking a half even less than half the price yeah so i was getting ounces for fucking like a hundred dollars dude yeah. so i was fucking really 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 like enjoying myself yeah like learning how to roll cross joints this yeah fucking like big, yeah. like doing gnarly shit like, yeah, like that tulips and shit yeah like. rapper <laughs> shit going to the yeah. pool while it's february here going to the fucking <laughs> pool because Fuck yeah. it's bright and sunny every day Fuck yeah so it was a nice getaway for me to like experience something completely different. No trees, no grass. Besides, in my neighborhood, everything is a desert. So it was like a nice way for me to. I'm myself, but I'm experiencing all this shit, and I need to like document it. And I wrote it down, and I recorded it terribly on that mic that I was telling you about. Yeah. At that time, it was only only for finding my voice and shit. So like I knew I could rap, but like But at least at least you took that initiative to yeah. start cuz like yeah. you got to start somewhere and if it wasn't for you believing in yourself enough to to start to record to that shit on there, yeah. then you wouldn't be where you at now. Yeah. You know and then I so I moved back a year later and I had the cipher idea like a couple weeks before I moved Are back. Are you originally from here? Yeah. Okay. I'm from not here. I'm from like uh Marlton Collingswood area. Yeah, I just mean like Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bleep bleep. <laughs> Fucking um <laughs> But yeah, when so when I came back, I obviously started in the town that I was from, and then went to the town that I went to high school with, and just invited off of Facebook, had yeah. people vote online, and it built up itself. The algorithm was different then, but but yeah, that's fucking that's pretty much what connected everything. It was the ciphers, but then it very quickly changed in twenty sixteen seventeen when they switched from um like rappy rap to trap, like where yeah. where it went and where it's kind of still at, which lasted way longer than I thought it would. I agree, but, but yeah. I think I think we're kind of in the middle now, and everybody's just waiting for the next thing to happen, which is, in my eyes, just the combo of everything, and not the combo of every genre into one thing, making a new genre, but just the combination of artists that can do everything. Just original shit. Yeah, artists <laughs> that can actually play the instruments and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of synchronicity. <laughs> Yeah, just original shit that's from the heart. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. woo. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. So it's different when I rap on other people's beats because I can express and paint and insert myself to the canvas. But now I'm realizing when I'm making beats, I'm not like making a beat and finishing and writing on it. I'm writing as I'm making it, like I was saying. And it's yeah. it's making me poetically go back to fourth grade instead of rapping or not rapping. I don't want to, cause like specific ones are different. <clears throat> it's literally bringing me back to fourth grade, how I described in me writing love poems in the sense of like, without in- anticipating a beat because I haven't made the beat yeah, yet. Exactly. Maybe it doesn't need a beat. Yeah. And I just go or like maybe that. Maybe all it needs is a, is a little yeah, guitar. Yeah. Or maybe a little, a anything. Yeah. Or... So I'm looking at it differently like that instead of like, 
oh, well, this is like this is where that goes. You're and looking, then you're looking this at is it, that. You're looking at it as a canvas instead of a yeah. instead of a grid. Now the painting's not there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You were looking mm-hmm. at it as a grid. Now it's a canvas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. It was it was numbers and co- it was numbers and colors before. Now it's about like actually where it's being placed and shit like that. Like. It's so gnarly that like these are now. I wish that when when I described these things like this audio clip, like that what I see could just be like drawn for you guys. Yeah, just let me get the AI generator. I'll type <laughs> that in and see what they fucking draw up. Fuck, I was about to ask you something too. I, I just see a forest for some reason. I don't know why, but um, but yeah, it's gnarly shit, dude. I don't even remember what we were just talking about, dude. My memory's so good, but I'd we be forgetting ta- shit. No, like, we were talking about time. like you you start rapping and shit. That was because I asked, yeah, and then I to drum and I drum because a rock band yeah. So like it's it's funny what you said earlier is like you get the appreciation for things when you actually try to do something yourself that you see that you don't that you're not aware takes that much. Well, you have to believe it. Attention. You have to believe in yourself, and that's what it was for Enough me. To try. That's what it was for me with guitar, and when I played Guitar Hero and I was like, I got I I, st- I was playing expert in a week. I was like, oh dude, I could play real guitar. I got to get a real guitar if I'm this good. Got a real guitar, no. It wasn't the same. But then I got Rock Band and the drums were the same. Yeah. So you'll notice that when I play drums and how I set my kit up, it's very tight. Yeah. Just like the Rock Band cut. And uh, and it's good, though, because that gives me a lot of space to add as many cymbals as I can. Yeah. Because I want, like, fucking 20, 30 cymbals. Yeah. Just to have all those sounds. No, I love having, like, all the different cymbals. Right now, I think I yeah, like, Frankenstein I like and sets connecting different sets sounds from different kits. That's what I love too. I got I got like my like, kick drum sounds really good. I hate my toms though. Really? I love my snare. I love Did my. Did you try hi-hats. like changing the skins and shit on the toms? No, it's not that. They're just not good toms. Oh, okay. But the kick drum is very has a very good sound. I literally have a blanket inside of my kick drum. I don't. I don't put anything in it. No, I I just like the way it sounds because it, it's it's the way it's just preference. Yeah, it's just it like is. like a pow. Like, you know what I mean? That's just how I like my shit to sound. Depends on what you want, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like the I like the subby kick. I like a subby punch kick more than like a damp. I don't know, but it doesn't. My my particular drum doesn't even. It doesn't sound damp. It sound. It makes it sound like. I don't know. It makes that shit sound like fuller to me. Like that's just. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. Somehow, true. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, you can do anything to, to make something sound specific, and that's the thing. At the end of the day, too, it's music, guys. It's what sounds good or what you think sounds good, and it's art. So, like, whatever you draw, whatever you draw on this music shit, it doesn't fucking matter, bro. It's do what you do, and also believe in your fucking self and put that shit out and promote that shit because somebody out there fucks with that shit. And people be getting in their heads and thinking like that their shit's not dope. Like, mm-hmm. just take a chance, put that shit out, and like, fuck and especially it, like. now, like right now, like you guys can see how the internet changes with algorithms and flows of things. Right now, it is about reels and shit. So if you just post some shit, you don't even have to have a following. You can build a following on all these apps right now. Whereas before, like I was telling you, if we shared a a YouTube link on Facebook. And I have five, 100 friends. 100 friends saw it in chronological order. Yeah. Now on Facebook, if I post that link, only if like 5%, 10% of my people see it. And if they like it, then they'll show it to the next 10%. Yeah. So that's a whole different perspective of what works with the algorithm. Whereas if you take your beat or how you made a beat or a song and you fucking post 30 seconds of that as a reel, yeah. that could go anywhere. In the algorithm, so it's still free open, but yeah. it's not. You see, like it's yeah. very weird. Yeah, and I don't like it. I feel you. I want the eight thousand, nine hundred thousand, fifty thousand million people that follow me to see it in the order that it's right. posted. Right. Like if you posted before me, show his shit. First. Should be no sketchy bullshit. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. You can take this. It doesn't have to be thirty thousand ads, motherfuckers, because I'm not buying anything. Right. I have not bought one fucking thing from one ad that I have ever seen on a computer. Yo, you know what's funny as Have hell? you? No. Like, seriously, hold no, on. No, I never have. But listen. <laughs> Do you quick. hear that? Hold on. We've never, all the ads that we've exited, never. probably hundreds dude. of thousands. Dude, 
Maybe millions. Let me tell you. We something. might have exited <laughs> out of millions of ads. Dude. Let me tell you something real quick. I'm not gonna name no names, but my Our life is exiting my, ads. My girl's brother's girlfriend, if that makes sense. She is Wait, one, what? My girl's brother's girlfriend. <laughs> so she she literally fucking bought will buy shit multiple times off the same ad on Instagram. She'll buy it the first time, complain how it doesn't work, buy it again. Complain like how it doesn't work. Like the promo thing? And I'm, no, like, no, not even the promo thing. Like, I'm talking about, like, she'll buy, like, a like a piggy bank off, a, off of an Instagram ad. Or, like, a pink fluffy, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, whatever. Geez. So, it does get a lot of people. It gets a lot of people. But, like, br- yeah. multiple times, and you already were upset with the first one, so you purchased another one from the same place expecting a different outcome? Insanity. Like, mm. what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't even know. I just had, I didn't mean to interrupt, but no, I just No, it's had just to, all ads. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. So it is it's getting. It's their target audience. It like, is getting people, but that doesn't make it okay. Jesus Christ. Like, watch, we're going to get an ad for, want to get rid of ads? Because we're talking about it right now. And that's actually fucked up. <laughs> I always had this idea <coughs> that I wanted to patent, but it's a little too late now. Because YouTube TV kind of does it where, like, you should be able to choose if you want to listen to commercials or listen to, like, music or something while it's commercials. Yeah. And, like, put, like, select. Okay, like, make it a playlist. But it could even be, like, people that make, that, like, make, like, pay for ads on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, their music could play. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Like it would still wind up getting annoying now. Everything's no, but but that'd be better than it'd be better to have the choice to do something (laughs) than hear fucking that. (laughs) This is Downey fucking buy our army that (laughs) army's commercial. We have the meat. (laughs) Oh fuck out of here, yo! So annoying, dude. It's the most advertised, and I don't know anybody who eats it. Fuck Arby's. Where is Arby's? If I meet the CEO of Arby's, I'm punching him square in his fucking noggin. There's not even Arby's around here, and we get mad commercials for for it. Mad commercials. Fuck them niggas. (laughs) I used to like the curly fries. Nah, I'm about to drop an Arby's diss track, yo. Come do it, (laughs) do it. I think they be talking shit on Twitter. They do. Fucking. What's your favorite fast food? I don't really eat fast food, to be honest. What's um, your favorite? My favorite fast food, what I would consider fast food is like, um, there's this spot near where I live. Um, that's a little like halal truck. <laughs> and that's my shit. I get a little like pita, some fries, and like a free drink for like $12. That's fine. That's my shit. A little falafel. You feel mm. me? <laughs> yeah, with the fries. With the white and spicy sauce. Yeah, all the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I I need dippy cheese with everything. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I fuck with some of Chick Fil A shit, but I feel like some of their shit went downhill. Um, Man, Chick Fil A probably is the best one. Out of yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I had to like pick like a real fast mm-hmm. food, um, if you yeah. could date any cartoon character, who would it be? Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's a heavy question. Maybe Bulma. Who? <laughs> Bulma. Who's that? <laughs> From Dragon Ball Z. I don't, I don't know. I need to see her. Mm. I'll put her right there. But uh, I don't even know who that is. Maybe. Where's your phone? Pull her up. <laughs> I fucking like um the one John fucking uh. The one John from Road to El Dorado. Is that the gold movie? The cartoon where the the Disney cartoon where they're going for gold? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, her? Yeah, I thought it was her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Road to El Dorado. Oh, from her? You talking you know, about the John know. from her? Yeah. The 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 uh, Mexican John? Yeah. The Aztec John? Yeah, she fine as hell. Oh, <laughs> the hit, the hit. I already know what she's talking about. <laughs> the, the hit. I might have you. to switch my. <laughs> is it, is it, is it, is that, I'm not gonna lie. It, every time I say that, it, people it switch it to, to that. Switch. People switch it to that every time I say Yo. it. <laughs> Julio, the hit, the hit. Yo, that yeah, that's crazy. a good one. All right, if Yo, you get, if you I, get. Also, when I get a mansion, I'm trying to get that game. You know what I'm talking about? What game? Where they be playing with the ball. Yeah, when that's they get, when that's they get the armadillo fucking, and shit. That shit's crazy. They'd be cutting that off shit. that. They would cut the head off the winner of that game. Yeah, 
But I ain't, we ain't gonna do all that shit. If you <laughs> the, the winner if you gonna won, have to, the loser gonna have to pay off. for dinner. Like, or something. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> fucking um, if you could uh, have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, probably just to fly. Just to fly. Yeah. Cause like I don't even want nothing extra for real, but like to to fly would be dope. Cause like like one I could just go like visit my homies and shit, <laughs> like in other countries and states and shit, and also like. I don't know. I don't need no like. Not teleport. You'd rather fly. Nah, cause I would enjoy. I would enjoy. You just flying. be like, yeah. I'm you know what here. I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be. I'm not tripping. Like, I don't need to get there that quick. But like, I, <laughs> I would. Yeah, I would enjoy the flight. Like, you feel me? Like, word, <laughs> word. <laughs> it um. I would do like vibration or something. Vibrate to the point where I could like split apart. Oh, that shit would be crazy. Everything's vibration. So like sound, I could like transmit. I could. I could do everything. That man. shit would be crazy. Nobody knows that one either. Fucking <laughs> El Dorado, the hip John, and vibration as the superpower. I think that's the cheat code. Dude, that's never been a superman a superman. A superhero made like that. Like just vibration. No, I don't think so. You might be on it. You might be on something. Vibe man. Vibe man. No, don't take it. No one take it. Nah, we bleeping that shit out. Fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> There'll be a lot of bleeps in that. What's your favorite ice cream? Hmm. I would say cookie dough, like the cookie dough, John. But I did recently just have like the ice cream that with the cookies that are already cooked in it. Oh shit! Have you ever had that? I don't know. What's it's it, like cookie dough ice. What's it called? You know, I don't know. It's like cookie dough, but it's cookie instead of cookie dough ice cream. Yeah. Cookies and cream cookie dough. It's just cookie ice cream. Yeah. So instead of the dough, it's cooked. Yeah. Dude, and it's infused. And you make a cup of coffee. You take a scoop of that and put it in the coffee, dude. Yeah. I don't even drink coffee I, like that. I don't I even know why I said No, that. I don't drink I don't usually don't drink coffee. But that ice cream, dude, that that might be my favorite right now. You ever had nice But cookies and cream, cream? All, all together, cookies and cream. I fuck with cookies and cream heavy. Like that all together, like, like I from fuck childhood. With, I fuck with the Ben and Jerry's uh, milk and cookies, too. That joint's fire. Give me any ice cream. But um <laughs> Give fuck, me you, ever had, you ever had nineteen hundred ice cream? No, what's that? Oh my god, bro. They have like drops, like releases for their ice cream. Real shit. Uh, like sneakers, nigga. You ever have gelato? Yeah. Gelato was my I, favorite. I had but just gel- straight up vanilla gelato from this place in Collingswood was so good, bro. I had gelato in Italy, bro. That shit was wow. fucking different. There's more <laughs> sugar in it. That shit was different. It's so good. It's a different texture. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> like, it's so much better. Real. Yeah, it really is so much better. Yes, even bro, when I went to Italy, I, even when going to the grocery store making a sandwich, mm-hmm. like that was one of the best fucking sandwiches I ever ate. Well, dude, I heard like, people be <laughs> going there and they like even if they ate the same things that are here, they'd be losing weight out there because everything's made with different shit. Like we, dude, they'd be fucking us up. Why are y'all fucking us up? Why y'all fucking us up? Why y'all fucking us up? I said, why y'all fucking us up? Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 I got really do oppy. We, 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 we about to sample that shit. <laughs> like, said, why y'all fucking us up? Like I do oppy as fuck. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna perform tonight. I have like, I straight up am just gonna ask everybody: Do they want to cry, dance, or rage? Actually, I should probably start getting that wrapped up. Fucking, do you have anything you want to tell the people? Like, if you could tell your 10 year old, 10 year old self something right now, what would you tell him? Just follow your fucking heart and just keep grinding. Like, that's what I would tell anybody. Um, and no matter what the fuck anyone tells you, that shit don't mean shit. Because, like, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you. And that's some real shit. Um, and also, uh, stream my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah, all this shit will be in the bio. And, um, we'll play it, play some of his shit at the end of this. But um, thank you for coming. We're definitely gonna do another one, bro. Yes, Fucking on, we got work. We got, we just have a crunch time, and I want to make some music. We got to collab. Yes, so let's sure. do that shit. Get We're about to cook up, so uh, I'm sure that'll be documented. But I'll see y'all. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah
I feel limitless, I'm on the same shit as Brad Cooper. Whip all white interior, storm trooper.